Hi, this is Chris and welcome to my channel. I fly a 1975 Beechcraft B60 Duke. I bought the plane about five years ago and I absolutely love it. It's a great airplane to fly and uh, thought I'd take you on some of my adventures. So here's the latest, hop in and uh, let's go for a ride. Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. Just wanted to uh, show you putting on some PBS on the right wing boot. First time I've done it, so I'm experimenting a bit, but we'll see how shiny it turns out. Kind of a cold day here in Northern California, but <clears throat> humidity's low, so hopefully that'll help. Um, so anyway, we'll uh, put it on. I'll do it uh, time lapse, save you some time, and then we'll uh, see what it looks like in the end. Thanks. Well, while the uh, PBS is drying, maybe I'll give you a tour of the Duke 60 November Zulu. Um, so here starts the wingtip. I, I, I put these uh, winglets on it along with the strakes. It already had the VGs, so it's got the winglets. Um, also got the LED lighting modification on the end. Boots are brand new with the paint in uh, 19. This is a 75 B60 model. Um, so it does not have the wingtip tank. It uh, holds 202 usable gallons um, without the without the uh, wingtip tank. Um, here's the engines. Uh, I've got the fairing off to do the boots with TI TIO 541 E1C4. Uh, pretty powerful engine. This is the one, if you follow the channel, it's the one I had replaced on the right side, 400 hours on it. Um, it's running strong so far, so far and uh, not a lot of oil leaking out of it and it's broken in pretty well. It's got chrome cylinders and the carbide lifters, so it's doing really well. Um, let's see, on this side, got the baggage compartment. Holds quite a bit. Uh, I think about, uh, let's see, I got it locked, but uh, doesn't have a lot of room for bulky stuff, but uh, can hold a lot of weight. Um, on the right, uh, the left engine, uh, it's got about a thousand, I think 900 some thousand hours on it. Uh, it's starting to leak a little bit of oil. It's going to go into the shop here pretty soon. So get, take it into the shop, see if they can find anything obvious uh, on the leak. Um, it's not bad. It just makes a mess on the bottom a little more than normal and it doesn't look like it's coming out of the breather. So I'm gonna have them take a look at it. Also got a fuel leak on the left side. So I'm gonna replace the tanks on the left side. I'm gonna modify this, uh, modify this drain valve. Um, it's got the old style hanging out of it. And there's a modification from FFC on that to make it uh, work a lot better so I'm gonna do that annual coming up in a few months I may uh, may also do this prop um, start on this side stall warning horn I had that uh, rebuilt by the uh, original original company um, and it's uh, works good uh, uh, I ended up putting my battery minder through here, so I have to leave this door open to plug the battery minder in, but it's uh, pretty simple, tucks in nice, and uh, I don't have to worry about it 
Um, so just tuck it in and close the door and you're good to go. I redid the uh, paint on the uh, landing lights here on the outside. This model, three, this is P339. It's got the landing lights out here on the wing. So I put the new watt LEDs in there and then repainted and put new, uh, new acrylic on both sides. Here's a good view of the plane uh, from the left side. You notice uh, I redid all those windows, the interior windows with a dark plexiglass. Um, so I got rid of the window shades completely. I hate those things. Pet peeve of mine. So all gone, darker. I think you can get, they'd have to custom make them, I'm pretty sure, but I think you can get the UV um, stuff in there as well. I got the UV in the front right of the plane and you can really tell the difference um, with all that stuff in there. You don't really need shades. Keeps it pretty cool. Uh, flaps, I had redone the SC313, I think it is, uh, where the rib cracks on the front uh, from standing on this flap, especially, and all the stresses on the flap. Um, and they did find a bunch of cracks on mine, so they went in and put the new uh, rib in the front to reinforce it all. Paint job was by Murmur in 19. Um, there's the strakes I talked about. I had some corrosion on the tail just started when I had the strakes and the winglets uh, installed and the mechanic noticed it and told me about it it just started so that's why I went ahead and uh, had the entire plane painted and it turned out pretty well also got the LED in the back View of the plane on the right side. I love the paint job. I could have had any paint job I wanted, but I really like the old, original, old style paint. So I went with that. There were a couple newer ones, wavier ones that were nice, but uh, I just like the lines on this one. So there were I combined two or three different ones, um, especially on the back of the nasal. This was kind of a combination. Sometimes they do it as a ribbon. And I didn't really like the ribbon, so... Uh, but I kept the white stripes up it, so... I think it looks pretty good. Alright, so that's the Duke. Um, maybe I'll go over when I get more time. I can give you a tour of the inside of the plane. Um, and... Uh, talk you through some of the systems in there so all right thanks for watching talk to you later and here are the finished boots uh, came out pretty nice I might put one more coat on um, I think I've got enough time to put one more coat on that'll be five uh, looks pretty good I think learn this is the first time I've done it so I think it turned out all right though I'm sure the, the left side will look even better now that I've learned a few things doing this one. So, anyway, there's the Duke and the PBS on the boots.